and usual effects are killing TF2. Now, that's a very, very weird thing for me to say. I know, considering I make unusual effects. I have an entire workshop dedicated to unusual effects. I've been doing it for like over two years now. But it's true. How unusual effects are handled nowadays is not good. I wish this video was more scripted, but I just have so many thoughts right through my head that I couldn't even put it down on paper. I have a few notes over to the side, but yeah, it's an issue. Every time someone mentions unusual effects nowadays in 2024, people groan, like genuinely. Whereas people get excited for like cosmetics, war paints especially, and maps. If you ever mention, oh, I made a new unusual effect, people instinctively go, oh, another one? Or just like, do we really? need this in game. I wanted to show you some unusual taunt effects in these videos, not because I'm a huge fan of them. I'm actually not a huge fan of unusual taunts in the first place, but they're gonna get added in the update regardless. It's a problem. Well, not not a problem in that the community should it be saying that, because yeah, Valve has been handling unusual effects like fucking candy. As if they're hats almost. Last year alone we got 71 unusual effects in one year. In one year. Now, last Smith's, Smith's 2023, we got, what, 31 unusual effects in one update. So I understand why people get mad at seeing new unusual effects posted at the workshop. A couple of years ago, the average rating for an unusual effect, for it to be considered good or acceptable for the game, is about a 60-65% approval rating. So like, if they're posted to the workshop, about 65% 60, of people will vote, yes, I want to see this in game. But now, I've discussed it with other workshop creators, and people are lucky to even get 40 or even 50% chance. If a usual effect is a 40% approval, that means nowadays it can be added, as seen with the spider effect we got last year, which had like a 42% rating. That's an issue. If Valve is adding stuff to the game that only not even half the community wants in game, that's a problem. And part of that is because Valve is just adding so, so many of them. And I know I'm part of the problem with me contributing my own, but I'll get into why I make effects in a little bit. I'll just add so, so many that every time we see them added in game, we inevitably forget about them unless they're that distinctly unique. Which is another thing about unusual effects. A lot of them are, feel like repeats or stuff we've seen before. Like, oh, more color shifting effects, more gl glows more you, you, you know what i'm talking about just feels like we're treading on the same ground as we used to even the one effect i have in game the saft effect gets compared to terawatts and kilowatt all the time which is entirely fair it's just an electricity effect over the head that is one of the reasons why i'm not so proud of it being in game that's why i'm very torn as a workshopper because because if we lived in a perfect world valve would arguably just not add effects in the next update which really really hurts me because as a workshopper i want to see my work represented i want to see it in game honestly i'll be perfectly fine if valve just chose to not add unusual effects in the next one which obviously they're not gonna fucking do because fomo ever since valve decided to only restrict unusual effects to only a certain update or only a certain case it really propels unboxing sprees so not adding them really hurts their revenue but then again, they haven't even added war paints in the last two updates, which brings in so much money. I don't know how much money, but upwards of millions. In a perfect world, Valve would just not add these, or at least get, um reduce it. Another point I should make is, Valve technically adds the same number of effects each year. For the past, like, three or four years, we've been getting about, like, 10 to 12 unique effects. So, like, if if even though the update page says about, like, 20 or 30 effects added, it's only about like 10 to 12, but the issue is recolors. Since, oh, ages ago, Valve started adding recolors to different effects. So you'll see like, oh, the normal effect, but if it's Halloween, you'll see a purple or neon green version, which is an issue because now a lot of workshoppers have to pretty much have to add a color variant because if they do, Valve will accept all of them. I don't think even once Valve has decided to just forego and like a color variant like to ignore it if you have like color variants attached to your effect that will add all of them as we saw with that firework one a few years ago so that's another issue why it also feels like we have so many if you account for all the color variants i think we have like seven seven hundred effects in game i think 
Yeah, people are just sick and tired of seeing unusual effects nowadays. Even when they see a really good one, they're pretty blasé to it. Oh, and that's another point I would like to mention. Workshoppers are getting more and more talented, which is sometimes an issue with unusual effects. All the time we see really, really well-made effects, like really flashy animated effects or just amazing tech demos that, like, almost break the engine while not quite doing it, like stretching the confines of it. Which is very limiting, by the way. We're still working on the same like 2007 Oracle engine, which is really restricting. So seeing this kind of stuff is amazing. It looks so cool, but also isn't TF2, which I know is an argument thrown around by a certain someone, but sometimes that's true. I don't know. Like if you compare the effects of Bamboo, for example, Bamboo, who I absolutely love as a creator, I love working with them. They make some of the most amazing, visually stunning effects that we've seen. But if you compare those, the, these new age workshopper community unusuals to the OG, like Gen 1 through 3 effects, they are completely different. You see like stunning space effects or like giant clouds that really draw attention to your eye, but like compared to an or literally an orbiting PNG almost, which when you inspect it is really, really crusty. People tend to steer away from these new effects, even though in my opinion, they are arguably better. They look, they are so much more well-made. I'm currently working on a mod that overhauls the old effects, but compared to, to the old generation, new generation, it's such a marked difference that people instinctively vote no on all of them, which isn't a fault on them. People can vote whatever they want, but yes, no. I'm perfectly fine with that, but sometimes it does go over the line with how well made an effect can be. Seeing these effects in game really, really stand out sometimes. They really draw your eye to it, which, which to be fair, is what unusual effects are made for. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to be like calling signs. They're supposed to show how rich and, and rare these effects are, but it shouldn't be drawing your eye during combat or anything. Oh, and speaking of rare, the, the fact that we get so many unusual effects nowadays, and we've been getting unusual effects for so, so many years now, they don't even feel rare anymore. When someone unboxes an unusual, yay, you give them like a, a pat on the back, but then forget about it within the next day. Unless if it's like an extremely, extremely like rare hat or effect, but most people forget about it or don't even care. Even when I unbox nowadays, I've unboxed so many unusuals that I end up just reselling them immediately. I just think about the profits of it. I don't think about how, ooh, how will this effect go with my loadout? How will this hat fit in? It's it's an issue. And then there's also performance issues. Back in the old day, particles generally stayed within like a low particle count to minimize performance issues. Nowadays, some effects have like thousands and thousands of, of entities being spawned, especially taunt effects. Don't even get me into taunt effects. Yeah, like I said, thousands and thousands of particle units which really hamper a game especially if more a lot of people have unusual effects at once like if you have a full lobby of people with unusual effects and they also use taunts and they also have weapons and kill streak effects it really hurts the game luckily 64-bit did minimize that a bit but still it's an issue especially uh, because of how flashy and intensive these effects can be. Now, that being said, why do I still make effects when I realize there's an issue? Well, Valve, no matter what we do, is still going to add a lot of unusual effects, no matter what. They're going to. It makes them so much money. So, in my eye, I make effects for two reasons. One, for my own personal satisfaction. For most of the unusual effects that I make, I make mods so that I can use them myself. I use them in-game. I use them to re replace like my effects, other people's effects, stuff like that. And also too, if Valve is going to add effect, I want it to be mine so that I can make sure it fits within TF2's guidelines generally. I want it to be an effect that I personally would want to see in game and not some, not some like weird like party confetti effect or like an orbiting PNG quote unquote. I want them to be like effects that I would use and I would love to unbox. That being said, I have missed the nail on the mark sometimes with effects. As you can see sometimes if you look at my workshop, but I try to generally make effects that you all would enjoy too. Every time I see an effect not perform well or not perform as well as I think it could, I always look at the comments. Comment section is something I could honestly talk about in another video and will. Comment section is a very controversial topic in the workshopping community. People either love it or hate it. That being said, 
I always look at the comments that anyone makes about any of my effects, good or bad. If someone gives me uh, comments on why they don't like effects, I really, really take it to heart. Or why they do like an effect. I typically try to overhaul or update my effects whenever I can with these suggestions. I've done that many, many times. I don't want it to be like all like the 500 other effects that no one recognizes or remembers or cares about if they unbox it i want it to be exciting if they unbox it i want them to be happy and screaming like like the old days like when someone would unbox like a team captain with like burning flame like or like a, a morning glory or like sunbeams or something i want people to be excited as i am when I unbox those effects and when they unbox my effects. Does that make sense? The problem is I, even I recognize I've made mistakes with, with my work, which I greatly appreciate you guys calling me out on. That being said, why the hell am I making this video? I'm not quite sure, honestly. I really just needed to rant about unusual effects because I see all the time people talking about them and not in a good light, which is entirely, entirely fair. What can we do about it? Honestly, us as a community, I don't know. Valve, Valve could very easily do a few things to make to bring unusual effects in a good light. One of them is not adding as many unusual effects. The fact that Valve added 31 <laughs> effects in one update and 71 in an entire year is baffling, genuinely. I don't even remember most of the effects that came out. Half of them could have not been added and I would have been more than happy. Like Valve, Valve's quality control is not that great. So if one valve could not add as many or set a higher standard to what they add. That would be amazing. That would be ideal. Another idea is, I think this is a little bit weird, but adding particles that aren't hats or taunts. That's right. I'm talking about weapon effects. I'm talking about kill streak effects, even spells. I recognize why valve hasn't added any community versions of these in the past because they're not as easy as just copy and paste import effect into game as like hats and taunts. They're not as easy for Valve to do. It's, imagine, imagine the, the absolute hysteria that would happen if Valve added a new weapon effect. How many cases would be unboxed? How much money they would make? And how much, like, how happy we would be unboxing that war paint and getting that new unusual effect? That would be amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I recently made an unusual weapon effect and making another one as we speak. At, no, 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 no. If Valve could do that, that would be amazing. But Valve will probably still add another 20 or 30 effects in the next summer update, which I am both looking forward to and not looking forward to because I feel like Valve might add a few of mine. I don't know. Considering how many I made, I made like, what, 30 for this season? So I have pretty deep, a pretty damn good chance. Even, wait, even other workshoppers are getting tired of making unusual effects. You'll notice a stark decline in how many unusual effects are made in a year for an update think uh, look at the particle mayhem event we held recently particle mayhem if you don't know is essentially a competition to see who can make the best unusual effects under a certain theme the first one was like i think magic and spells so like you know, like halloween spooky kind of it was just a general theme the second one was space space and time but if you look at the numbers between how many submission unusual effects submissions were made for the first event and the second event it is markably lower but it's so much lower and if i were to account for how many unusual effects were made for last summer versus this summer it's gotta be so so much lower or like probably upwards of of half like i made 30 effects which i feel like wasn't that much i've seen other people like bamboo make so much more for an update but we're running out of concepts and new ideas at this point there's only so many cloudy moon effects we can do we're at an impasse ideally valve which is not at unusual effects which sucks for me to say as a workshopper what do you guys think i really want to hear your opinions on this let me know in the comments even reach out to me dm me on discord twitter anything let me know what you think about unusual effects what we, we as community can do what us workshoppers can do especially like, give me ideas on, on what I can do to help with this. Because I, I, I'm in that impasse, really. I want unusual effects to be in the same limelight as maps, or especially war paints. War paints are being highlighted so well right now. People really want war paints to be back in the game, but you don't see that kind of thing in, with unusual effects. I want that kind of excitement again when you unbox an unusual effect. You don't see that ever. The, the, the comparison between like a, unboxing a festive falling unusual versus a factory new war paint is astounding. I want that kind of excitement back in unusual effects. 
but I don't know how we can do that with Valve adding 30 of them in one update. God, please let me know what I can do. What we can do as a community to bring unusual effects back into the spotlight. 